do 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 just cleaning Billy, cleaning Billy, cleaning him with this floor mop that is several hundred years old. So last time we were here, they said something about a job at a vault. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Woo! We still need a contractor on our Vault 22 project. Normally, exploring a vault is tedious and time-consuming, but we found a couple of implements that should speed things up recently. It's guns! <laughs> so tell us about your vault job. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom, vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. What was that about corn? Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. Are we talking about fruit or women now? And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Everything is impossible, yes! The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. You don't have to go to a vault to get some prickly pear fruit. That's just lying on the ground. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Is there anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Billy, you're kind of in the way here. You make a better door than a window, Billy. Move it. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Why do you ask, cutie pie? You interested in joining? You're not the first person he sent to Vault 22. And I know he'd never tell you. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley... She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? No. Or any of the other mercs? They're probably not even worth mentioning. None of them were reasonably competent. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. Screw those other mercs! I only care about Keeley! Long lost lover, perhaps? <laughs> Wait, how do I know Keely when I see her? Keely's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. I said, how will I know her when I see her? And you said she's brilliant. Doesn't <laughs> help a whole lot on a visual identification basis. If she's wearing a dunce cap, you know it's not her? I guess. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? So she's a ghoul. Or she's a robot. Stay safe. Do my best, but no promises. Get out of my way. <laughs> Yo, Doc, let's talk. Yes? Something else you needed? Sounds like we're not the first people you've sent to Vault 22. No. You aren't the first person I've sent to the Vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. Just how many people have you sent to their deaths? I'd have to consult my records. Eight? Ten? Your point is what? Because you sent eight or ten people to their deaths. I have no evidence that they're dead. A thousand things could have happened between here and the vault. They could have changed their minds and walked away. I wouldn't be much of a scientist if I leapt to conclusions without proof. Yeah, I mean, it's never as simple as that. You broke our agreement. We want double the caps. No. Our agreement was very specific. You bring me the data, I give you a reward. We never discussed the dangers. That's your business, not mine. If you can't provide the data, I'm sure I'll find someone who can. Now, 
I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. Wow, you're a jerk. Bye. I bet he eats Raisin Bran for breakfast. Oh my god, Raisin Bran's so good, Billy! Billy, I wish you could eat so you could understand how good Raisin Bran is! You're disgusting. It's so delicious, Billy! Give me a moment to disassemble my limbs so I can crawl around like a fucking weasel! <laughs> stay... Stay out... Uh, stay out... Ants kill. Oh, wait, what's this? It's a smiley face. Um, so this looks like crap. Uh, well, that, no, I guess it doesn't look like crap. This just doesn't look normal. I'm not used to seeing so much green, I guess. It actually is quite luscious, isn't it? It is very luscious. Do you think these are edible? I wouldn't risk it. I don't think I can fit through this door. Come on, fatty, get in there. I, I'm too fat. I can't fit. Might get the butter. We did this joke 140 episodes ago with hope. Oh, uh, did we? Yes. This is, Shoot. This is where we got our rhododendrons. Oh, uh, there's a computer terminal here. I think this is all we need. System integrity comp compromised. Unauthorized login. Detect. <laughs> Semicolon. I've established temporary cap inside the entrance of this vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running. And I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the last few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Oh, how useful. She left her personal diary. The growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising, given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room. But even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my pit boy is on the fritch, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving, thereby helping whoever finds my messages after I am almost certainly dead. My, we're done reading it. You don't, you don't have to keep doing that. Okay. Since we're in an unfamiliar environment, and I have no idea what we're going to be coming up against, now would be a perfect time for me to completely switch what gun I'm using. Yeah, why go with things that are faithful and reliable when you could go with experimental and untested? And something that I have no idea how to use. Behold, Mike! The Mateba Model 6 Unica! Never heard of that gun before. It's a revolver, and its name means you are unique. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was a gun's creator telling the gun that it was unique. <laughs> Fun fact about the Matiba Model 6 Unica, it fires out of the bottom cylinder. Oh, so not at the top cylinder like most revolvers? Yep, fires out of the bottom cylinder. Also, it's a semi-automatic revolver. So it's not necessarily good, it's just different for the sake of being different. Well, having it fire out of the bottom cylinder is a good thing because it reduces flip-up. Then why don't all of them do that? Uh, because it requires a lot more work and you gotta kind of move shit around a lot. So it's not necessarily better. Not necessarily. Uh, yeah, it's a revolver that uses gas pressure of the cartridge firing to cock the hammer back, so it fires on single action every shot. Why would a six-shot single action revolver be semi-automatic? It just cocks the hammer back every time. Oh, so you don't have to recock it? Yeah, so you don't have to pull the hammer back every single time. Oh, well, that sounds great. Why don't all revolvers do that? Because uh, it's really complicated. It's just, it's a lot of extra work and a lot of extra parts to put into a gun, so mm. it didn't really catch on. Also, it looks weird. Weird is cool. If you want a Mataba, you pretty much just have to get a Chiapa Rhino because Matabas are almost impossible to find. I've never and they get a premium. I believe it. I've never even heard of the Mataba. I think its biggest claim to fame is that it was in the Ghost in the Shell movie from like the 1980s. Ah, so a whole 12 people saw it. Wow, man. <laughs> Way to just completely crap on my childhood. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the Mataba. Yes, that weapon was featured in episode 14 of The Snorks. I would be a little weirded out if it was in an episode <laughs> of the Snorks. There is no shortage of plants down here. I, I'm having a hard time remembering what rooms we have and have not been in. Ah, we've been in the room with plants, but we haven't been in the room with the other plants. The hell was that? Ah! Oh, god damn it! Well, the revolver works. Yeah, I could tell! That's all right, it's just airsoft pellets. Yeah, yeah. You think I could get a real Matiba? I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that live here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. Lichen? They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. And then somebody shot me in the arm with a Matiba. God, I hope that doesn't become a recurring theme. Anyway, I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. 
Yeah, this is just like Vietnam. Is it? Were you fighting these kinds of monsters in Vietnam? Yeah, too? with my Matiba. <laughs> Red Roach! <laughs> oh! <laughs> just murdering bots here. I think I got him. Come over here and take a picture of me with my with my most recent bag. <laughs> They're not hostile. That one was. That one is. That one also is. That one was. <laughs> there goes his leg. I do like this gun, but I kind of want to try something else. What new weapon are you using now? This is the Beretta M92FS. Isn't that the standard issue police weapon? Uh, no, standard issue, it was the- Ah! Stop resisting! Gun, gun! I'm gonna go through ammo for this thing pretty quick, I think. Yeah, you keep spraying it like that. Well, it takes a lot of bolts to take one of those things down. You ever try to kill a plant with a gun? It's not very effective. <laughs> Next time you try to weed your front lawn, try using a pistol to do it. There's another one. That one could have been friendly. <laughs> we don't know. Ah! something so <laughs> That line doesn't really work on plant monsters. Uh. <laughs> Keep out. Hmm. I feel like this barricade is very poorly con- <laughs> Yeah, this is a crap barricade. The door opens upwards! <laughs> I don't really know what somebody was planning with this barricade. But it was a dumb idea, and you're an idiot for trying. <laughs> An attempt was made, it wasn't good. The entire time I was in the military, I was like, Man, the M9's a piece of garbage! Why would anybody use this hunk of junk? And then when I got out of the military, I was like, Man, the M9's awesome! I love this handgun! Maybe that's not a testament to the weapon's strength. I, I think the main problem is that in the military, it's a military-issued one. So it's not exactly well-made, and also... Hmm... That's suspicious. It's not exactly well made. It's used by soldiers who beat the crap out of it. It's all old parts. Also, I, uh, I feel like the M9 is a great civilian handgun, but a terrible, oh my god, I'm not proving my point here, combat handgun. It's got too many parts. Good lord. What is happening? Die! 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 Help! Help! Help me! So it's not only a bad herbicide, but a bad pesticide as well. I was hoping to put these weapons through combat trials. This is not what I expected. Oh, what are you using now? This is the AN-94. They put pulleys in it so that it, it fires one round, then the barrel starts recoiling backwards, and then it fires the second round. So you get two rounds firing out of it before the recoil impulses hit the shooter. Did they invent that before gas pistons were a thing? It was an attempt to increase the hit probability of, hang on, the hit probability of the average soldier. Did it but, work? Did they, did they succeed? Yeah, except that the gun is incredibly complicated and very expensive, so it was adopted by the Russian military for about a day, and then it wasn't. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. Now I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into UV spectrometers and test the air for contaminants. An excellent idea. Did it work? After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Aha! Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Gasp! Um, should we be breathing this in? Should I be wearing a gas mask? Probably. Dang, this firing rate, though. Your mother called. She wants a refund. Ooh. I gotta say, AN-94 is pretty effective. Probably gonna jam up in about 30 seconds, though. Um, it's a feral ghoul. Plant hybrid? Yeah, look at them teeth. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, I like the rear sight on the AN-94, it's cool. It looks like it's lopsided. Uh, it is, it's kind of off to the side, but you rotate this little piece right there to whatever range you're aiming at. Oh, you hold it like a gangsta sideways so the no, sight comes straight it's, side up. No, it's... 
the correct way. It's just the sight is just there. It, look at it. I can see it. It's crooked. It's not crooked. I'm looking through this top part of it right here, and then it's got it's got an angle like that. So when you rotate it, it's always in the correct position. Yes, it's weird. It's a weird gun. That's why I grabbed it, because it's weird. Weird doesn't mean useful. Weird doesn't mean it's good. Mm, what in the... <laughs> Action Abe? I never knew how much I wanted one of these until I found it. It's just President Lincoln with a sword. Uh, yeah, it's mine now forever. And don't you take my action Abe action figure. Okay. This is a beautiful studio apartment. A one zero. Ooh. Everything is integrated. The bed into the dirt. Ah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I really do like it, Billy, sweetie. I'm just not so sure about the dirt being inside the bed and the table. Also, there's never been any drywall out here. It's completely asbestos free. Ooh, that is definitely interesting. I don't like asbestos very much, and Billy has such sensitive lungs, don't you, Billy? Why are you talking about me? <laughs> All right, well, fine. Oh, God! <sighs> <sighs> Behold, the PKM light machine gun! Uh, is that another weapon we picked up from the arsenal? <laughs> this is another one I grabbed. Why haven't we been using this? It looks pretty cool. Because I'm not too bright. <laughs> it sounds pretty badass. Ah, yes, the sound of firing 762 by 54R at several thousand. God several can't thousand. save you now! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! The sound of firing 762 by 54R at 600 rounds per minute. Tell me the history of this weapon and what makes it cool. Um, it's just a belt-fed machine gun, and it's freaking awesome. It's just a really robust, well-made light machine gun. Give me the elevator pitch for this weapon. What makes it good? Relatively lightweight, highly reliable, uses an incredibly common ammo, ammo type that can be found almost anywhere. What ammo type? 762 by 54 r Ah, yes. The same for the AK, right? No, the AK shoots 762 by 39 Oh, God. Why don't they all just have the same 762? Because the bullet is the same diameter, but the cartridge behind it is not. It's stupid! It's you get a lot more power out of it. I, mm. Can't we just have a universal standard for bullets now? No. Because that stifles development and competition. Just, just, you don't have to have a bunch of different ammo types. You can have three or four standards and then build around that. You can still have uniqueness. You can still have individual types of guns. Do you have a lot of ammo that you want to get rid of quickly? Do you have a bunch of enemies that you want to throw lead at as fast as humanly possible? Do you hate that guy over there and you want him to be just absolutely suppressed for the next three and a half minutes? Then buy the PKM light machine gun. Standing for words in Russian that I don't understand, PKM is an acronym. Using a long stroke gas operating system with an open bolt assembly, the PKM is capable of throwing large amounts of ammunition at approximately anywhere from 650 all the way up to 800 rounds per minute. Point the barrel at the thing you want to die, squeeze the trigger, and death comes out. Yes, pretty much. That is not how this thing would reload, but we'll gloss over that because there's no, there's no individual reload animations for this game. Yes. It has an upper receiver and a lower receiver. I think it does have a top cover. You know what? I'm wrong. It has a top cover. I'm thinking of the HMK21 Echo. That one does not have a top cover. But does it have a bolt carrier group? Yes, it does. The PKM uses a really weird non-disintegrating link belt, which I'm not a huge fan of. There are fates worse than death. Let me show you. I'm talking about non-disintegrating links. I didn't realize you had an opinion that strong about it, Billy. Holy Christ! God must have had a fucking seizure during your conception! <laughs> wow! Oh! Hello! Anus mouth! <laughs> Turns out you can take out plants with a gun! Yeah, it just needs to be a light machine gun! And they have to be four foot tall plants! Shooting rad roaches with a general purpose machine gun. What has my life come to? <laughs> Do people normally do breach and clear with a light machine gun? If it's a Mark 48 Mod Zero or a Mark 46 Mod Zero, then yes. You could be making up gun names that I wouldn't know. Mark 48 and Mark 46 are basically the M249 saw. This is unlike anything we've seen before. SUPPRESSING! Probably don't want to shoot this one. No, probably not. Greetings! 
took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? <laughs> These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Uh, how much you paying? So, you're one of those, huh? Fine. I'll give you all the money I have once we're done. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain more. Okay, well, that's good, because we're hard up for cash. <laughs> no, we're not. We could have done it for free. <laughs> Man, this is just like Vietnam, huh, boys? Rescuing a ghoul from hostile plants and mantises. Charlie in the trees! Seems like we have a volunteer for cremation. I, I don't think you've ever been to Vietnam, Zach. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. All I hear is Fortunate Son playing inside my head. Oh, that's different. Oh my god! Ah! 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 Help me! Help me! Mike, kill it! That's, kill it! That's her ah! that's my Styrog is doing nothing! Boy, if only you hadn't wasted all the ammo in your light machine gun! <laughs> Styrog has an integrated scope, did you know that? So, you can't detach it. The scope does not come off. Welcome to hell! I'll be your guide! And tell your mother I said, eat shit! Ah! What are- what are you guys shooting at? That's right, die! Then die some more! And when you're finished dying, keep on dying! Being gender was more difficult than killing you! Yeah, Billy's got the right idea! Yeah! You guys are shooting at the fl How are you getting the lasers to come out that such way? Such a sad ending for such an insignificant organism. Now that I see the world through Billy's eyes, everything deserves a thousand bullets! Come on, Zach! Um, shoot the floor with us! No, I only have two magazines left I for my see gun. you won't be needing that skull anymore! Oh, research data. Nah, I don't think I want that. Yeah, that's what we're here to get from- What's his face? Alright, fine. Download research data. Cool, we got it. You cannot even begin to fathom the unceasing contempt I have repressed in my circuitry! I'll have your skull, you fucking nuisance! You used all of your ammo, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> and that's why you're using that? Because Ma you've used all of your ammo? No, I'm using this because fire beats grass. It's rock, paper, scissors. Mike, you might want to take care of this guy that's over here. I can't, he's not within melee range. Why'd you use all your ammo? <laughs> where, where'd you, you drop that styrog in the water? I dropped it and I don't know where it went. Oh no. Ah, oh, it's too bad. It's, I, uh, God. I can't talk about it anymore if I don't have a visual aid. <laughs> yeah, you could just talk about how much you love the Matsuba again. Zach? He ain't gonna sneak. I got him! I got him! Get you getting him. Boy, he's been gotten all right. Oh my god, he's horrifying. His eyes are terrifying. <laughs> yes. You know what else is terrifying? The fact that he's emitting radiation. <sighs> uh, all right. That could have gone a hell of a lot better, but it also could have gone a lot worse. It also would have went better if you had used an actual gun, Mike. Hey, the flaming skull is not a bad weapon. Yeah, I'm sure. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Cool beans. I can do that. Right behind you. Let's go! Hey, look, there's a bug pod. Want to shoot it? See what comes out? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Let's just leave. Let's leave. <laughs> well, you're having difficulty shooting all these tiny little mantises? It's hard to hit something the size of a quarter with a revolver while you're moving, and it is also moving. Billy doesn't seem to have any trouble with that. My presence is God turning his back on you. <laughs> wow. Keely, why are you staring at a wall? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Sure, I can do that. Good. Return to me when it's done. My weapon is already ignited, so... Yeah, you'll want to switch to something that isn't already on fire. Nah, it's a time saver. Okay, good. That was a really bad idea. Stupid door not closing on the right time. <laughs> How you doing out here, buddy? My skull's not on fire anymore for some reason. Oh. Which one? 
Neither of them are on fire. Yeah, I think because there's probably no oxygen left in this room. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Billy's having a little fun here. Billy's having some problems. Uh, we all have our own forms of entertainment. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Hooray! Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. Yes. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. Definitely. Okay, what do we need to do? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Good riddance! Those files have caused enough trouble! The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Yeah, I copied the files. They're right here on my pit boy. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Well, hold on! We came here to get those files! You sure I can't change your mind about this? Are you you want to fight about this? I don't really want to. You want to thumb wrestle? Nah, you can have it. Glad you're thinking clearly. I was afraid to blink there for a second. There, all done. That wasn't so bad, was it? I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. Yeah! If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Mike, don't kill her! Don't do it! Don't do it, man! Dude, yeah. put the gun down! Give her the put data! Put the gun down, Mike! Mike, put the gun down! <laughs> wow, that was actually hey. kind of dramatic. Hey, you're welcome! <laughs> I just killed the terrorist that was pointing a gun at your head! You're welcome! Hey! Evening. Keeley just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait a... Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Woo! Thanks again. Really, I owe you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go get our asses chewed by Doc Hildern. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Dr. Hildern, I got some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is that I have discovered the perfect recipe for kettle corn popcorn. The bad news is that the Vault 22 data is gone. Destroyed. I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. No, we know it's destroyed, because we're the ones who destroyed it! You were a part of this? After we made an explicit agreement, you have the fucking goal to destroy priceless scientific data? Wow! The authorities are going to hear about this. They're going to know your name. They're going to know your goddamn face. Now get out of this office. Get out. Language, mister! Well, he's not wrong. We did destroy important scientific data. Yeah, but it also would have killed everyone. You know what? I don't have time to deal with this. I'm gonna push this button, and this time, we ain't gonna kill him, got it? You didn't let us finish. We destroyed the data, and Zack destroyed the backup copy, but they didn't destroy the backup backup copy I had on my Pip-Boy. You have a Pip-Boy? Yes, I never show it to you, because it's much better. I'd probably break it, to be fair. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Just so you know, that vault is just as dangerous as Williams thought. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. The dangers in the vault were caused by that data. Yes, they were terrifying plants. They also turned people into a fungus. Yeah, some kind of green monster. Yeah. Or, or guy in a green suit. I'm gay. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised... An agreeable sum, payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. The money's beside the point! That data's horribly dangerous! We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. What do you think they do in vaults? They're not <laughs> alchemists! Whatever. Let's just get the hell out of here and let him turn into a plant or something. I hope you turn into a plant! Hello? Knock knock! How's- oh, it? Oh! <laughs> Alright, well this bathroom sucks. 